Hi, hey guys, welcome back to Atticus and my very posh sewing studio. Um, <laughs> we've been really busy over the last couple of weeks. The boat that we work on um, just got hauled out. That's the boat that we charter um, snorkel, dolphin, and sunset trips. And um, Jordan's been heading a bunch of fiberglass projects over there. Um, he's replacing two structural bulkheads and um, they're uh, repairing a, a crack in the hull. So while he's been doing that, I've been sewing all day, every day. <laughs> um, and it's exciting though because now I'm sewing all day, every day and getting paid for it. So I'm doing, I just finished a bunch of cushions for my neighbor and um, he was really happy with the results. And um, the, the dock that we live on is called colloquially Coconut Row. And it's a really friendly community. Um, people get together for potlucks and barbecues over the weekend. And they put up this big projection screen and watch movies there together. So um, this last weekend, everyone was watching a movie. And Fred was really excited about my cushion. So he told everyone about them. And they uh, headed over to his boat to take a look. And um, they all really liked them, thought they were pretty. And I uh, have two more jobs lined up. So that's really exciting. Um, Fred also asked me to repanel or to reupholster these decorative panels, and it's just a piece of uh, plywood with some foam on this side, and then it was covered. It was covered with um, a this material actually, and um, he's just trying to go with uh, making everything white. So uh, that's been a challenge in this small living space to try to keep White's umbrella white. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited to be. Uh, in the clear of the white projects. But um, the biggest problem that I've had is trying to figure out this uh, inside corner. Um, and I looked up on YouTube uh, try to, trying to figure out how to do that, but maybe my search terms weren't um, good enough or maybe it's just intuitive to people who, who are sewing that how to do it. Um, but I had to learn the hard way, which was by making a lot of mistakes and doing a lot of um, elbows. Here's one of my test panels. Um, and I took apart the, the pattern and uh, kind of saw how they did it. So um, this was the inside radius that they used. And um, uh, I'm just going to explain how, how it works. So let's pretend that this is the wood and this is my material with about a, uh, we'll say that's an inch and a half seam allowance. Um, so what I do first is I cut a V into the, the corner right here. And then I'm going to go ahead and measure out uh, the uh, piece of material that will kind of wrap around nicely. Um, there you go. Um, so this is a, I just cut that a normal flat cut and then I cut out a radius or, or a half circle. Um, and then you're going to use this, actually flip it over to the exposed side. And then you're going to sew. Um, so this panel onto that panel, and um, as you're moving the material around, it is totally fine to bunch this up as much as you need to. Um, I learned the hard way that you don't want to bunch your um, your exposed um, material at all because that's going to stay in the finished product, and you're going to see bunches in the panel, which doesn't look very nice at all. So feel free to bunch this as much as you want. Um, it's kind of a hassle to figure out how to sew this at such a sharp angle, um, but it works out, especially with this material. It's nice and soft. Um, Sombrella does not bend as well as this, so it's been kind of a nightmare. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, this is my finished product, so you can see my V right here. And then if you flip it over, you can see my radius right here, which I sewed in, um, just like that. And um, this is what it looks like at the end when you pull it over and staple it right there. Um, you have a nice little corner um, with no bunches on, on the other side. So um, that was a fun, fun lesson to learn, um, a little bit frustrating actually very frustrating, um, but I'm glad that I have the skill in my uh, bucket of skills again. So um, yeah, thanks for following along. Hope you guys learned something today. If you have any tips on a better way to do that, let me know. <laughs> um, hopefully our next Atticus update will be putting the rig up um, because uh, we 
uh, two weeks ago we made enough money to put in our rigging order for all of our standing rigging and it came in the mail so as soon as the boat that we work on gets uh, back in the water we're gonna have some days to finally put our mast back up so that's gonna be awesome and then um, the money that we've uh, earned uh, during this two-week yard period is going to be enough hopefully to buy some sales so if you guys have any suggestions on um you know if you go with the sale maker if you go with used sales um if you go with uh, north sales uh, let me know uh we'd really uh really value your opinion so um again that's going to be our next project and uh, it's going to be really exciting to actually sail this boat after owning a sailboat for two years <laughs> so anyways thanks again for following guys hope you're having a great day and take care